Hey everyone, it's Deb Putnoy here from Art for Change Studio and the Jarring Lab, and I'm really excited to be here today um, to talk to you about the next letter on my ABCs of Jarring that um, I started a couple days ago. So we had gotten through A, which is always draw, B, draw for better or worse, and today we're going to talk about C, which is capture chaos. Um, and I wrote this... Um, this one today because I really think that so many people are caught up in this idea that you have to draw something that's beautiful and perfect and it has to be um, you know really attended to in a very kind of careful perfect way I get so many um, I've had so many discussions over the years of people like worried about drawing that you need to draw a straight line and it needs to be like this perfect beautiful thing and so I kind of went with this idea that um, drawing is really a powerful tool for, you know, drawing beautiful things, but also, also for capturing chaos, capturing kind of the wildness of our lives. And I think that's the beauty of drawing is that there's no right or wrong way to draw and that you can capture so many different um, experiences through drawing. So when I say capture chaos, I think about... Um, you know, drawing with, oh sorry, that's my, my clock, this is going to be really annoying for a minute, um, see, chaos in every moment, like, um, it's going to go, I don't know, it's probably close to 11, so, um, but when I think about capturing chaos, it's also about capturing, like, our chaotic feelings, like, how can you use drawing as a tool to, um, capture kind of the way you're feeling, maybe it's a chaotic, nervous, frenetic kind of feeling. Um, I'll always remember when my um, son was born, I have a daughter who's older and a son who's younger, and my daughter was about three when my son was born, and I had all these crepe paws lined up, like kind of in this perfect, I'll show you, I have one here actually, you know, perfect box of crepe paws like this. Now this is not normally how any of my tools look, for some, I have this, someone just brought, donated this box of um, crepe paws to the studio, but so it's very perfect looking. But my daughter had a box like this, and my daughter is very like neat and organized. And her brother came along, new baby, and she was the best older sister that you can imagine. Like she was so doting and attentive, but she also was having a lot of kind of chaotic feelings and things that she didn't really know how to articulate. So one day in the kitchen, I was cooking, and I saw her take one at a time each um, crepe and then just color and then orderly put it back and then went to the next color got her feelings out on the page and it was just like it was fascinating to watch because she really was kind of getting out what she was feeling this kind of um unknown like you know maybe frustrated feeling or i don't even i don't even know how to name it and i think that's the beauty about um drawing is sometimes you can draw things that you ne can't necessarily name on the page so she took each cray pot and it was a box like this so there's like maybe 40 cray pots in here and she just stayed there for about a half hour using each one to capture kind of the feeling inside and then she put a she put the cover back on the cray paws walked away and then that was kind of her dealing with it she was like the best little older sister you could imagine very you know covering him in a blanket and taking care of him and singing him songs but the idea of capturing chaos is really thinking about how can you use drawing as a tool for capturing maybe the things that you can't name, capturing those chaotic, difficult feelings that sometimes um, we don't always know how to deal with in words. Or So I want to give you permission, um, and really what I said initially is that this, these couple days, at least 26 days are coming on, with these the ABCs of drawing is that I really want to give you permission to think about drawing in different and unusual ways and um, to teach you kind of to think about things that maybe um, you haven't thought about with drawing. And I think people get worried about shading and form and all these things which are, like I said, really important and you can go on YouTube and find great teachers that will teach you those kind of things. I want to have you teach you, I want to teach you about things maybe that you haven't thought about or you've thought about and no one's given you kind of the permission to do. So capturing chaos, um, capturing, Roberta's watching, I see, hi Roberta. Um, you know, if there's a hurricane coming, because I know she just went through a hurricane, you know, how would you capture even that um, sensation of like going through something really difficult? You know, how do you use drawing as a tool 
Um, and that's really my goal here. Um, it's my goal in the book, The Diary Mind, which I wrote um, a couple years ago, which is an interactive sketchbook, is really to let you understand that drawing isn't only for artists, it isn't only for, um, you know, drawing things realistically or perfectly, that drawing is a tool for all of us, and it can be used for so many different things. So I'm going to come on here each day, and um, you're welcome, Roberta. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Um, so I'm going to come on here each day and kind of give you little, little pieces of advice or nuggets or things that I've learned as an artist, but to really help you use drawing um, in your own way and to kind of access and explore your own drawing mind because we each have our own beautiful, unique, one-of-a-kind drawing mind that I really believe um, once you get connected to it, then you just open up these, this whole new world for yourself. So um, if you have any questions for me, message me. Um, you can email me at artforachange at mac.com. Um, I'm going to have the drawing challenge up again, so I'm going to put the link below for that. Um, you can sign up for that, and I will be on again tomorrow with the letter D and talking about the next thing. But maybe see if you can capture a little chaos through drawing today. It can be anything. You can, and I would love to see your drawings. So share with me any drawings that you do, um, either in this um, drawing lab page or on the drawing lab group. And if you're not a member, just go over to the drawing lab group and join in. And that's a little bit more of a intimate setting where we can share drawings and stuff. Okay, I hope everyone has a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.